Hello, 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 everybody. You know the drill. <laughs> Let me know if you can see and hear me okay. Ooh, let me get ready. Hello. Can you guys hear and see me? Good. Awesome. Hello, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Let me stop singing everything. Happy Friday, guys. <laughs> it is your girl, Sassy. Thank you for coming and being with me as we complete, can you believe it, row G. And then I'm hoping I can zoom through the last row, row H, and we will be finished with Lincoln the Lion. And then next week, I'm hoping to be finished by the end of next week, putting all of row H together um, and be com have him completely assembled by the end of the month, no later than the first weekend, by the first week in April. But I have high hopes and great expectations that I can get it done by the end of the month. Whoa, hey! <laughs> And folks say hey, coming in, they coming in saying hello to everybody. Thank you guys for speaking to everyone. That does my heart some good. I have Donnell is in the chat. Hey girl, Brenda and Melissa and Zandra. Hey y'all. Teresa is in the house. Yes. Christine is in the house. Did I say hi to Zandra already? Zandra is in the house. We have Lisa in the house. We have Jay in the house. We have Judy in the house. Hey y'all. I am so happy to see each and every one of you, Christine. Hey. Okay, I think I got everybody. Um, Melissa is asking, how are those chickens doing? They are doing good, much better. I don't know if you are aware that we did lose one on last week. Um, I was devastated, but I'm much, much better now. Um, the rest of them are doing well, and we have to get them on their little dresses. For some reason, they keep saying that they're coming, and I had to cancel an order of them. And now I have to reorder because, yeah, I don't know. They were on a slow boat from somewhere. I don't know what was going on. And I'm like, yeah, I never got them. They were like, oh, but you should have gotten them already. Yeah, I know. I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> So I'm going to try ordering from a different company and see how that goes because my babies need these little dresses because all their little hineys are uh, shining, okay? <laughs> They're all shining. Day is saying hey to everybody. Lisa is saying hey. And then she's lurking. Awesome, awesome. So guys, like I said, we are here to do G7 and G8. I do have a quick project that I want to let you guys know about that I will be working on. Um, back, I want to say it was around Christmas, maybe. Donna over at Handmade by Ying sent me some fabric to make an egg apron. And I had not been, now I had been studying on how to make one, but I hadn't been like convinced seriously that I could make it. And I know that she sent it over for an egg apron because yeah, I was going to turn that baby into a project bag, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am going to do the egg apron. I'm just tied up, not tied up. I am nervous about a supplete that I want to do. And so I have, I'm practicing, I'm practicing. So you guys will see me. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on a live. It might be an impromptu live because I kind of like doing these verses in an edited video. So we'll have a live working on an egg apron. Since I have eight girls now that lay, all eight lay, um, not every day, 
but for the most part, I do get between six, now six to eight eggs a day. So if I make an apron for maybe 10 eggs, I think I should be okay. I should be okay. Um, hey, Sass, is row B where the eyes are or is that row C? Row C, yeah. Hunty, if I was a drinking person, <laughs> I would have took a couple of swigs. Do you hear me? <laughs> I would have took a couple of swigs with making that, that dang on. Um, that dang gone when it came to them eyes because honey that was intense for me for me it was really intense but you are right hi sarah stitches from king north carolina girl i'm in aiden north carolina mm -mm -mm. we gotta find out how far we are welcome welcome aboard welcome to the chat i should say welcome to the chat well i am your girl sassy sarah and I am working on the Legit Lion that is behind me. It is by Legit Kits. I am on block G7, okay? So we're going to do G7 and G8. I already have this, as they say, the skin or the fabric to the paper. So we're just going to assemble them because this part can be just a little bit tricky for me, okay? Danielle says, I got tiny pieces coming up in row B and thought it might have been there. Oh, no, honey. Um, the small pieces in row B, that's like starting his, like the tightness of his mane close to his face. This weekend is going to be nothing but the lion all day, both days, honey. You go, girl. <laughs> You go, girl, is all I got for you. You go, girl. So, on this beautiful Friday, now, it's nice here. I don't know where it is, how it is, where you're located, but tell me, how is the weather, and what are you working on? Hi, right, honey, I am working. I had um a my group therapy today and tomorrow i will be with Donnell over on her channel because we'll be working on our lions tomorrow too um i had we were scheduled for early i think at 10 i think that was the original plan but now we're doing it at two because i forgot that i had my veteran it's my our support group is called gi jane and it is a um, veterans group for women, women only veteran group. And I forgot I have that uh, that meeting tomorrow. So I want to be there. I need to be there. I need to be with my peeps. I got more than just quilts and peeps. I have my veteran peeps as well. And I need to see them. I need to see them. Brenda saying it's 60 overcast here in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Y'all. Well, I think it's it's not that, what is it? It's saying, no, it's saying it's cloudy and 70 here. So we're not that far from it. We're not that far. So Miss Sarah, where is um where are how I never heard of King, North Carolina. I gotta have to look that up. I see Brandy is in the house. Hey, Brandy. She said it's raining over where she is and she's at work. And Zondra said it's snow. Girl, Zondra. If you keep that over there where you are, okay? Keep that over there where you are. My family are all in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And my niece sent me a picture and she was talking about it's it's snowing in March. <laughs> she said, I miss living in Texas. And I was like, I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. I am not the one or the two, okay? Because I am not thinking about no dang on snow. 
think this should be okay because I don't have to meet any scenes on this one. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me go down to the bottom. King is about 30 miles south of Mount Airy. Now, I can tell you, Sarah, that when I was um traveling to move here i remember seeing mount airy on one of the signs and i couldn't tell you i just know like i said when i was moving here i came i saw it on a sign <laughs> but I, I i think i remember the the locale of where that is though brandy said she's in oklahoma city she said i can see pilot mountain from my house oh wow okay over in that area okay Gotcha, gotcha. I, I kind of know where that is. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is a pretty area. Thanks, Day. You are the best. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Overcast in Georgia waiting for the rain to come in. Now, we're supposed to get rain tonight. We're supposed to get rain tonight. Wish I had rain. We are covered in snow. See, so y'all can keep all that. Brenda wants to know how close are we from a thousand? Last I checked, 75 away, y'all. <laughs> I am so excited. I am super duper excited about that. In Detroit, Michigan, two to three inches so far and still snowing. Uh uh, y'all keep that. Keep it over there, please. Keep it over there. We don't need no late effects of nothing um it's okay Teresa. thank you she said it's about six hours from our oh so that's like over Asheville area maybe or am i all the way the wrong way hey nancy they said my kids started their spring break a day early in michigan due to snow coming down oh no 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 y'all can keep this snow. okay 30 miles north of winston-salem okay i know where that is I lived in Florida for most of my life, but originally from Ohio. Okay, girl, you run away just like me. <laughs> we have several transplants everywhere, everywhere. Finally putting a stitch in. And as most of you can see, because I needed to break, I know someone might ask, and I was going to wait for someone to ask, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell it. I'm a, before I before I tell it, let me see if someone said it. <laughs> Going to go home, make husband hub, hubby subscribe. Oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> um, ooh, that, that turned out pretty good. Mm, almost pretty good. Am I gonna keep it? I'm gonna keep it because everything lined up. It's off just a smidgen. Right here, these two lines are supposed to be like come together as one. I don't know. This is going to drive me nuts. Nope. I'm going to leave it because, like I said, no, it really don't line up. I thought it lined up. It lined up on this side pretty good, but it doesn't line up on this side at all. We're gonna leave it. Hey, Jamie. Asheville, North. Yep, Asheville, North Carolina. Yes, I am. Um, I traveled to Asheville, North Carolina to pick up. Uh, we did rescue a um, Chesapeake Bay Retriever over in that area. His name was at. I named him Alex, and they were like, "Are you sure you want him?" Yes. Give me my baby. And um, I'm gonna leave this. I am not. I mean, Lincoln. He's. You know what? He, who said he was needed to be perfect? You probably look and see my hair is not all together. Huh? He is not. His mane ain't gonna be together. He had a rough, rough day this day. <laughs> <laughs> he had Paul hair sticking straight up. <laughs> He follows Brenda from Mount Scrapmore. He loves scrappy little pieces. Okay, hold on. Let me let me come back. Hey, Candace. Uh, who who was it? Jane. Uh, hey, hey, Donna. Hey, did I hear my name? Yes, you did. 
you're on some were you lurking? Were you lurking? Are you so close to being ready for another no, girl? Here, let me let me keep on scrolling because she playing. <laughs> I'm not gonna even finish reading it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, I'm not at all. So yeah, no. So I'm I'm excited about this one. So his I think this is Paul. What what is G seven? G seven is oh his little arm. That little hair going. He gonna be all right. Hey friends, let's share on all the social media platforms. Stephanie's link. She is seventy five away. So let's make it happen, y'all, 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 y'all. Y'all just don't know that will make a your girl's day. And it was so funny because one day I was watching the chat. Um, not my chat. I happened to go in because I need to respond to some comments. Um, I remember when I first got this channel. Even when I was at five hundred, I was really, really good at keeping up with my comments. And then when I had gotten um, a little bit ill, I just, my, me and my comments, you know, I fell away a little bit away to the wayside. So I am, I don't care how old they are, I am responding to those comments. And um, so I've gotten better at getting better at, you know, responding. And um, so I'm answering, the, answering them because if someone had took the time to send me a comment i want to make sure that i am talking to you guys that is it the, the least i can do okay so <laughs> i am working you know working it out and doing it and i was like oh that's you know we're getting up there i need a you know 100 to something to go and next thing i know i'm like wait a minute where all these people come from and i was like surely that wasn't from a short that i put out <laughs> And then people are like, oh, Eric from Treasure Heart Creation sent me over. And I'm like, oh, Eric, I, I love Eric, you know, because I didn't know that, you know, he would do that. And that was just, it was just really, really sweet of him. And not just him. I mean, goodness, we have Donna in the chat has done it. Becca has done it. Um, Fallon over and so be it. Quilts has done it. You guys have really, really blessed your girl. So bless her soul. So thank you. I appreciate it. His, I humbly appreciate it because I don't take it for granted. Because, you know, I just sew. I just like to sit and have company when I sew. So I bring you guys along with me on my journey. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. What we can do? Congratulations. <sighs> Um, Brandy on. I got my first block of the month from Legit Kit yesterday. My turtle. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for you, girl. Yes, do that turtle. Okay, Ken. This is in the house. Hey, Candice. So and it's it's really good to see people like when I do the impromptu lives because I don't get the chance to see everybody on Tuesday night because you know you might be working on doing whatever you might already have a previous Tuesday commitment so I like being able to see you guys when I you know when I can okay let's let me do this the right way stop trying to trying to um go around this but I need to because what I do is I found if I can at least fold on the line just a little bit, it helps me line things up just a little bit better. Especially when I have to, you know, piece things together. So it gives me like a better guideline than just pinning. Or only pinning, I should say. It just gives me a guideline to aim for. So I bent this one back. Do not throw anything at me. <laughs> nope, I'll run <laughs> that slack from you. <laughs> no, you gotta do it. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I am not doing another legit no time soon. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> No, what I was saying is I was going to work on an egg apron. 
because I was researching them because I had, that's why I had like last year you got you, um Donna does um project dress a girl and I the some of the dresses not some all of the dresses turned out freaking amazing and she was like oh anybody can do it girl no no everybody can't you know because that's just not my thing and i'm afraid that i would truly 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 screw it up but i am i think i'm going to try to make one this year i am going to try to make one because i want to clip i want to make one and I think if I make this egg apron, it'll help give me the confidence, the boost that I need to um, know it's okay to sew, you know, a garment. Now, making a project bag, see, that was different for me. That was like, no one was going to wear it. My <laughs> <laughs> little girl be sitting up there. <laughs> She's going to have one um, little strap all the way up here and the other one way down here. She's like, and Stephanie made that dress. <laughs> I don't want that for her. I don't want that life for her. Because she'll be like, whoever made this <laughs> could have sat down and just um, glued the labels on or sold the labels on or something. Do that. <laughs> no, just donate the fabric. Don't do nothing else, you know? Oh, that was perfect. Oh, the perfect pen. But yeah, so that's why I'm terrified to make stuff like that. But I think making this will help ease ease me into the um, Project Dresser Girl because I really do want to participate. I do want, um, I love the, the sentiment behind it. I really do. Let's see here. And my thing is when a person does something from their heart and if I'm not saying this is happening with Project Dresser Girl, I'm just talking about organization, period. You donate your time and your skill set or your whatever, your money or whatever to an organization and they don't do what they're supposed to do with it. Trust and believe me, they don't have to answer to me or you or nobody else. They're going to have to answer to God for that. I'm not saying that they're not doing what they're supposed to do. I'm just saying in general, I believe, um, I want to call her Mar Marty, Mari. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I think her last name is Dave Jesus. Her channel, Donna, Donna talks about her all the time. I know, I feel with all my heart and soul that she is for real and that they are doing exactly what they saying that they're doing for those with those dresses. So I want to participate. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and also, yes, Donna, thank you. And um, every for every dress you do, you will be put in a I'm just going to say in a bowl, your name is going to be put in a kettle. And so Becca, Becca is going to be doing sponsoring a giveaway. So however many dresses you make, if you make five dresses, your name will be put in the kettle five times. If you make 20 dresses, that's 20 entries for you. So you get one entry per dress. And you can win this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fat quarter bundle okay guys you know this uh sorry that's benson um worth some money you know because fat quarter bundles are not cheap and it's a moto one too come on y'all y'all know that mess ain't cheap so thank you know becca for her generosity donna for her um commitment to making sure little girls will remain safe and not only across in other countries but our little girls here in the united states as well okay so if you are interested donna did last week put out a video or could have been this week i think it was this week like a couple days ago charge my brain because you know it's worth two cents 
um, a video this week talking about Project Dresser Girl. So um, look back a couple days ago, I believe. Or was it yesterday? I'm so discombobulated. Look at Donna's channel. Hey, May, bye. Donna, throw the link to that video up, please. Um, so they can have the link, and that way they can see it. She um, showcased some of the fabric that would um, that have been donated um, from various people. And I'm telling you guys, it will be fun. Now, if I'm going to commit myself to making a dress, please know your girl have no experience whatsoever. None. None. Oh, yes, sir. That came out good. I like that. <laughs> that came out really good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Pick a pattern M5797 pattern sassy. You can do it. I am. I am. I'm gonna go to um what is this? Hobby Lobby. Look, oh actually, actually, before I go to Hobby Lobby, okay, y'all gotta tell y'all something. I, after I tell you about Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, Joanne, I'm going to go to Joanne because I have to go pick up feed and stuff for my chickens. And when I go there, they also sell um, the feed for our rabbits. So I'll be picking that up and some chicken scratch as well. So... I get to um, also go to Joanne because that's the only Joanne over in my area. And when I go there, I can look for that pattern. Ooh. I tell you, some days these things want to get hot and they don't. They this iron get hot and then some days they just be like, like a move of Congress, I need for it to get hot. But anywho, as you guys can see, I'm sewing on something new. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get all that out the way, <sighs> y'all. <laughs> I did sell my Bernina 570, and um, I'm so happy it arrived to her today. She said it sold just fine and i was like yes so i know it is because <laughs> it was fine when it left here <laughs> and um she owns a quilt shop so i'm like okay that's nice you know is somebody you know who will definitely be using it and um she was questioned that she didn't get a couple of things and i'm like honey you need to open up that um container with all the Feed in it, pull it open that drawer, you will find everything you're looking for. <laughs> so, because I have absolutely nothing here to pertain to that Bernina in my in my home right now. Okay. So everything you're looking for is there. So hopefully she will find it. She says she'll let me know. And I'll be so happy. So I can really truly breathe a sign of relief. Uh, Melissa's telling Donna, I have a couple. Uh, wait a minute. I have a couple dress patterns and plan to knock out a few. All right, go, Melissa. Hi, Ann. You guys are putting up links. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sassy, for giving the info. It's a value of $150, and it is open worldwide which is awesome that is great because um shipping things especially when it comes to overseas can be a little bit pricey a little bit pricey um and then we have dragonflies but donna is in the house hey welcome 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 Day says, I made several dresses for last year for Project Dresser Girl. And if I can do it, believe me, you can too. And that's what I'm um I'm standing on. I believe that I can do it. Um though I'm nervous, I I, I think we got we, we got this. Like I said, once I, 
I get my confidence in after I make this um, egg apron. I'm gonna show you the fabric. It's so stinking cute. It's so stinking cute. Now, what I need to do is get the fabric to make the pockets. And I'm not sure if I want the fabric that I that Donna had given me to be the pockets or the background. I think I want it to be the background. I am not 100% sure. But here is, let me clean up where, where my scissors, my other scissors. Take these dog ears off the corner. Off the corner. Right here and right here. And we have G7 all complete. <laughs> and that will go down here. Of course, I don't have a pen. One, let me get two of them. <sighs> okay, you guys see me hobbling? Let me explain why I'm hobbling. Because, let me put this pen right here. No, I'm not going to put it right here. This machine, for some reason, is the first machine that I have ever had to sew with my shoe off. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? That's bananas. Why is that? I put my foot on this sh um, on the pedal with these shoes on, and it is not. I kid you not. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> so I have to sew with my um, sock on, and I'm like, oh goodness gracious! And I'm the kind of person I always have on shoes. I'm always ready to roll just in case something pop off. Your girl is ready to go. I, I don't know what this is all about. I just don't know what it's all about. <laughs> um, Joanne has filed for Chapter 11, and I believe they are restructuring. Okay. P. So, okay, I understand that, but did they, because they, so all, are all the stores like right now just like boom, close? How does that work? I'm not sure that's what it means, but I don't know. I don't know. It's new. Okay, it's to um, chapter eleven is to help reorganize the store and help build up the business. I hope they can get it going back going because that's really the almost outside of your quilt shops. That's that's you know well we got, do have Hobby Lobby and we do have um, Michaels, but my Michaels don't have fabric like um, you get more fabric from Hobby Lobby than I do at um, our Michaels here. They have only like one aisle for, you know, one little section for um, quilted notions. And in fact, they have more cross stitch stuff at our Michaels than they have for quilting. So I'm wondering and I'm hoping that. Um, Whatever they do, they can get they can get it together. They can get it their lives together. So what I'm doing right now is lining up my lines. Um, Donna and I have dropped the link for you. The YouTube video she did the other day on Project Dresser Girl. Thank you guys so much. Good to hear, says Jamie. 
Sarah says, I have a new Juki Teal 18. I traded another machine for it. Sarah, I have the TL15. And I'm telling you, this has been like, oh, friend, where have you been? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I like, and I think it's, I like it more. I'm not, you know, I'm I'm not here to blow nobody's horn or nothing like that. Like I told y'all before, I'm not jumping on nobody else's bandwagon, none of that. I think what it, honestly, what it is, is because prior to me getting the Bernina 570, I was already looking at the Juki 150, which was a straight stitch. They discontinued that model. I was going to get another in, um, Juki industrial machine, but um, I decided to listen to and take great advice from not only my husband, but friends that had both various forms of this um, Juki, the TL model, and also those who had industrial machines. So... I, this time I was not going to um, go against what I wanted with all my heart. And I, well, no, let me rephrase that. Because with all my heart, I, want, I still wanted that industrial machine. But I did not want something that if I had to get up and go, I couldn't take it with me. You know what I'm saying? And it needed to be portable. All at the end of the day, it needed to be portable. Now, do I have a travel machine? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I need this machine to be portable too. If I needed to take, take it somewhere. So I think I made a great decision this time around. Um, playing on it from day one, it was just like it was meant to be. So I'm happy. I'm so happy with this purchase. But only thing is, I, I said, I, it's something about this foot pedal that don't like my shoe size, maybe. Maybe that's what it is because it's a little smaller than my um, Bernina foot pedal. And therefore, it's saying, just wear a sock. <laughs> just wear a sock. Okay, now, what I like to do, and I've learned that I like to do this, is I like to not sew the whole seam. What I'm doing is, if there is one seam that I had to marry together to make sure it was straight, or matching up, I will sew down right past that seam to see if it's matching. And if it is, I can continue. If it's not, I'm going to take those stitches out. It's dependent on how far off. Okay. Oops. So um, that this seam right here looks amazing. So now I am putting it back right a little bit where I stopped right before where I stopped so I can lock those stitches by going in reverse and um sewing right over those lines those stitches because I'm confident now that my stuff should be lined up very very well and I'm taking my time going down like on this one, I had to match up two seams, and I'm I'm pretty confident that I did that. I definitely did it on the first one. We're about to see on this second one. <laughs> We're going to see on this second one, but I think I did okay. And I did great. I did great. So, that is my um little 
trick for mar marrying up these dang on scenes because now, yeah, there are times even with this, doing it the way that I do it, I still got to um, have a date with Jack sometimes because I don't know what I was seeing. <laughs> the mess came out all wrong. Came out all wrong. We have a Jean in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Sassy. How are you? Hello, everybody. She says, Annette says, hey there, Sassy and Quilty friends. Hey, hey, hey. We have Miss Leanne. Hey, sewing all weekend long. That's right, girl. Let's do it. <laughs> Someone convinced me to do deep dive. Mm, is her name Donna by any chance? <laughs> by any chance is her name Donna. Um, we have Heather is in the house. Hey. Having lunch at work. Oh, thank you so much for coming in, guys. I do appreciate it. Jesse got a new machine. Yes. This is I have my featherweight I had I take to classes. Okay. I don't have one of those yet. I'm, I'm not going to say yet because I, I really don't know if that's my desire to have one. I will go check. No, I have been cleaning the storm room. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> hey, Gladys, how are you today? Oh, she was talking to um, Donnell about, was it Donnell? Dragonflies for Donna was talking to Donnell. Okay. Let's see who else is in here. Yep, I know it was Donna. You can't tell me nobody, but it was Donna. We're just going to put it on Donna. <laughs> Heather said, I don't tell anybody what to do. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> hey, Janice, I hope you're doing okay, hon. Did I name the machine yet? Yes, I did. Yes, she has. Oh, man. Sassy, I was thinking the same. <laughs> I think I know who's Donna. Her name is okay. All of my sewing machines have a name that has something to do with the word peace. Even though as quilters we peace, P I E C E, um, I still like peace, P E A C E. Um, so. I figured, you know, tomato, tomato, <laughs> even though I know it has different meanings, but my Bernina name was Shalom and her name is going to be Shalom as well because I wanted to keep, I just like that name when I am sitting here sewing and I do feel like this is part of a ministry. My main sewing machine name will always be Shalom. Um, my long arm is Safari, is Cameroonian for he who inspires all. So with quilting, that's all we do as quilters. And, you know, we learn from our inspirations and we inspire to do great things when we're on our machines or even if we're on our mid arms or domestic machines, we inspire all. My travel machine, her name is um, Zola, um, and it's also a, um, an African name for peace. So, yep, my baby's name is, they, they come from a derivation, wait, a variation of the word peace. My um, embroidery machine, has the name. I don't know what it is though. I can't remember. I remember I had Allie. The only reason why I can't remember. <laughs> it was I had Allie was my alliance and I got the intrepid and I had been like st stuck on a name for it because I needed it to I did come up with the name for it. I can't remember what it is. I have to go back and look at the a video and see if I named it. Because it was something to do with um, uh, like 
it was an African name for like embroidery. Um, it's not, I was, I'm trying to say patchwork in my mind, the word patchwork keeps coming up, but that's not what I'm, I'm thinking of. It's like, um, like stitches and stuff like that. And I can't remember the name of it. It was really pretty and I didn't put a sticker on it yet. So that's why I don't, don't remember it, but I'm going to figure it out. I've got to remember what it is. Thank you, Leanne. Hey, Shelly. Nice to have you come in. Lazy day for me, says Janice. First day of spring break. Why are y'all spring break so early? <laughs> Everybody spring break so early. My baby spring, my daughter's spring break is next week. I gotta find out what day it's on because I could, I might be I could I might be celebrating with y'all a little early. No, they no no no. I know when theirs is. They have a half a day on Wednesday and then they go out for the rest of the time. I mean, I'm like seriously, why go half a day? She might not be going that half a day. Okay, ain't nobody got time to be taking old child to school. They're thirty minutes away, unless she have an exam. Watch she have an exam. Thanks a lot, school. But today, let me let me tell y'all. We know we gossiping, okay? We were um, on her way to school, and it's a church right across the street from her school. She goes to a private school, and next, I see like a couple of police officers outside across the street at the church. And I'm like, Lord, ain't nobody going on at something going on at the church. What is going on over there? Next thing I knew, another police officer pulled up and another police officer pulled up. I so, said, Lord, let me go hurry up and get in this school so I can get her, so she can get inside the school and let me go on by my business going to this appointment. I was telling my husband, did I just do the wrong side? No, I didn't. I said, I think they're about to set up a sting or um, that's what we call them, or a roadblock where they uh, they start stopping everybody, checking the license and all that. They do that usually around the holidays and around break time and catching folks. And as soon as she calls, she's like, mama, because I told the lady who was in front of me, I said, she is being all nosy. See, it's okay to be nosy, but what it's not okay to do is to get up out your car and get to pointing. You know, I'm like, you know, that's how people get hurt. <laughs> if you want to be nosy, can you be nosy on the down low? Why are you going to get outside and point? Oh. She'll just be an extra. <laughs> I was like, what kind of foolishness is that? Who does that? Okay. Who does that? She did. <laughs> Like, there is no way I'm gonna be that dang on nosy. You know, yeah, I was rubbernecking, I was turning around because look, boots don't got no name, and I needed to know which, which way to go. That lady, well, she got up out of her car to point across the street. I'm like, lady, if you don't go somewhere up in front from in front of my car, because I don't want them thinking we together. We know each other. No, we don't know each other. She out there being nosy for real, for real. So it was like, oh my gosh. And soon as my baby got up out that car and I got to put my car in drive, lo and behold, you start seeing blue lights. Everybody was getting pulled over and everybody was getting stopped. I was like, ooh, thank you, Jesus. I'm not in that number. <laughs> I can keep on going. <laughs> I can keep on going. I could, I was like, I, you know, today would not have been a good day to be talking to no police officers about something I don't know. How to, I don't know what they want, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what they want. So uh, we got names coming in. Yes, tell me your names for your machines. The answer is my machines are. Is it lioness? Oh, is it? Um, okay, I see Leon. Leone. And traveling is Trudy. 
I need to know the pronunciation for that one, Leanne. It is so pretty, lioness. Speaking of lion, okay, and don't don't all everybody jump in at once talking about I knew that and I not because I know I did not. Did you know the Lion King, the Disney movie, Simba? Did you know that meant lion in Swahili? <laughs> I did not know that. What I said, I was like, what? They slipped one in on me. They slipped one in on me. And I knew like Mafasa meant king and all that kind of stuff, I think, or something of a king. And like Pumbaa, friend of a pig and all that kind of stuff. Those I've had, heard before. But Simba, I just thought that that was a character name. So now they're going to have me digging in all these dang on Disney movies, trying to figure out names and their meanings behind them. Um, you know, like from Princess and the Frog, Tiana. You know, those just is, is that a name or did you have a meaning behind it? I mean, because I don't know nobody, you know, who had went with the... Oh, pen stuck me. Um, from my voodoo stuff, I don't know Tiana. Okay, and now I gotta look because I'd be dang darn if I get stuck with another pen, we go, I go scream. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> but yeah, did y'all know that? I did not know that. But anywho, let me keep on going. My sewing embroidery machines are named Bogey, <laughs> Lucy, Ricky, and Gibbs. I know that's right. Gibbs. Woo! NCIS. Hey. I love me some NCIS, y'all. <laughs> I love me some NCIS. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's see. Need to put this needle down. Names are Alice the Mad Hatter and Sue after my mother in law because it was her machine. Oh, that's sweet. My machines are named after my grandkids. Oh, that's awesome. The Confident Quilter says, My live is at 4 p.m. every Friday. All right, girl. I'm gonna have to come and check you out. Sometimes I'll be checking you guys out, and if I'm busy doing something, because usually like I'm not here on a Friday, and I'm surprised that I am available this Friday during this time, um, because I'm usually away from the home or out cleaning or out putting out somebody's fire. <laughs> hey, Courtney. We had to have the police at our school recently because of some Instagram challenge. Now, you know what? These kids are taking stuff a little too dang on far, and people, it like common sense is not common no more, I see. That doesn't make any sense. Dang on kids doing stuff challenges they don't have no business doing and i sold right on through this one hopefully it's right because if not we're going to be doing it again leone okay oh yay i got it right i got it right i did not know that yes she said i heard it on the commercial the other day i'm like who knows that and um, Heather saying Scar's original name was Taka or Taki. Anyway, it means trash. Oh, this is nothing but the devil. Look at this. This thing done sold a boob right into my. Um, how did that happen? Is beyond me. What the heck? Who's that dang on Steam Ripper? Jack. 
And the thing is, it seems lined up good. Oh, have mercy. He just didn't want me to end this live. That's all. That's okay. You don't. You had to. You had to do all that. But we gonna fix it because I don't like that. Mm -mm. What in the world? Okay, we got you. We got you. Oh, I see what happened. My um, I see what happened. It's okay. I'm just going to take this piece right on out. Thank goodness I don't have to go all the way down. I just need to go down to. But I need to be careful when I'm coming up to this part right here because how it folded. What in the world? It folded. I got you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Y'all, something vibrated in my pocket, and I know there ain't nothing in my pocket to vibrate. <laughs> my um, fabric flipped down and created a boob. Now, that is the first time that has happened. That's funny. Okay, let's um, get this straightened out. Before I mess up the fabric, let me take it from the paper side. There. And then, okay, nothing but a hiccup, nothing but a hiccup. Nothing but a hiccup. And so what I'm going to do to make sure this piece lays flat and all the little things are, I'm going to press it just a little bit. I did not know that about Scar's name. Okay, we have, oh, see, come on now. And my sister name is Leone. Beautiful name. Oh, that is so cute. As Stephanie, are doing a live this weekend? Yes, I will be actually with Donnell over at Donnell Stitchery this weekend. Um, and we'll be working on, she's also doing Legit Lion. And she is, what hers, her lion name is Motown. She's doing hers in the Detroit Lion color. So I am going to be working with her at two o'clock tomorrow on her channel. And I will be finishing up, um, well, I'll be starting row H. I don't know how much of the sewing part I will be doing because my row H, <clears throat> this is the paper side of everything. My row H is going to entail a lot of color changing because I'm changing the color of the rock. So I have to um, pay close attention to what I'm doing on that. So I want to make sure that I am, do, you know, coloring it very well. So that's what I'll be doing. So now I need to figure out where I pissed off on here. So that is what I'll be doing. Um, I do plan on doing some more impromptos because I didn't realize you guys like this style. So um, seeing that you guys do, what I'm going to do is do some more as um, I get closer to finishing him up, especially definitely the last piece I'm going to bring you guys in on that journey. And then um, as I assemble him, I plan to have him all completed by the end of um, the month. If not the end of the month, God forbid, it has to go into the first week of April. 
but um, I don't want it past that. I, I just need I need Lincoln complete. And I know Donna want she she's playing with um give sending me another legit kit. I told her if they end up doing a legit kit that is a chicken or a Holland Lot rabbit, I am in. <laughs> there, that boob is gone. <laughs> so yeah, so that is my plans for this weekend. And um finding a pattern that I like in additional fabric that I like for the um, egg apron because this pretty fabric right here is she's this is one piece she sent and I think this is going to be the back um, how, how do I say it this is going to be like the actual apron, and then I'm going to put some pockets on, on here. So the pockets will go on here, and then this will be the backing. And it is a white with little blue dots going down. I don't know if you guys can see the dots or not, but it's super pretty. And the thing is, I need to clip the ends and I have to wash it before I um, make it because um, I don't, what I don't want to happen is if I don't wash it, just being, you know, totally honest, not all eggs come out looking like they do from the grocery store, okay? <laughs> They just don't come out looking like that all the time. Most of mine do, but some of mine might have a little bit of extra on it, okay? Chickens only, they do everything from one 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 hole. Keep it in graphic, no, no more graphic than that, okay? So know that, and sometimes, you know, a little extra, come on the egg, you know, you got to clean it. So if my apron gets, stuff on it <laughs> I'm gonna want to clean that apron so but if I don't pre-wash the fabric so I can pre-shrink it what can happen is the pockets will shrink and you don't want the pockets too tight for the eggs because sometimes it can happen where if you have a new layer or even an older layer, your eggs can be a little bit, um, the shells can be a little bit on the thinner side. And um, like my my one girl, she is a black copper moran. She lays the most beautiful dark color eggs. I'm going to tell you, she got some, them eggs as tough as I don't know what them some hard eggs. I'm like, girl. So I don't have a problem with her eggs. But let it be one of my green girls, green lay egg layers. Their eggs seem to be just a little bit more on the sensitive side. And it's, I, when I tell you it dropped not even from this distance, you know, and the egg cracked. Just... Uh, half of an inch and it just it it cracked so i'm like dang don't it that's an egg i can't use now well i could use it i could go give it to the dog or give it back to them but i won't walk i wasn't about to walk all that way back and it fell on the dirty egg so it was definitely not you know at that time bacteria wasn't chancing it that wasn't mm -mm, not doing that so I had no choice but to um, get rid of it, get rid of the egg. But yeah, no. So their eggs can be sensitive. And what you don't want is to have a pocket or anything like that where it can accidentally, you know, just squish the egg while it's, you know, in my apron. And I'm clumsy. God forbid if I have to... Have to step in a hole or not paying attention 
on our property because our, our our land is not flat all the way around. Um, yeah, your girl's gonna take a tumble and probably crack some eggs. So I I generally carry them in a basket. But you know, you know, I'm gonna have to do it for the um, tube where you know make my make this apron, and then I'm gonna take you out there to the chicken coop <laughs> and collect them eggs. So you know, we got to do all of that. So that's gonna be a fun one. That's going to be a fun one. Okay, got everything earned. This is the last. Thank you, Jesus, of row G. This is G8. Love the names of yours day, right? Stupidity is a disease and common sense is a curse because we have to live with stupid people. <laughs> Ain't that right, Heather? If my machine was named, it would have to be what I mumble to it all the time. Oh, you stupid thing. <laughs> hey, Ellen. Come on, why are we jumping all the time? Thank you, Dave, for telling fun to please remember to give me a thumbs up, you know, with all the things with the algorithm. And it keeps um, YouTube aware that, you know what, hey, we like sassy, so please keep showing the love. I don't know when I'm going to start my legit turtle, but I have some organizing to do first. Yes, organization with any legit kit, Brandy, is the key. I just shared. Let's get her over the top, y'all. Oh, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When Motown is done, I'm sending to Steph the quilt. Oh, thank you. Girl, you better tell me what kind of do because I, I haven't done I'm not I'm not doing um custom yet for folks, but I am getting I am getting my um confidence level up to speed on that. Okay, I need to go put beans and ham in the instant pot. Girl, what what's your address? <laughs> <laughs> um oh my god these sheep are so cute and then the quilted um compound jamie says no they don't chickens are messy uh, aren't they chickens are messy rabbits are too and if i had to look my little girls my rabbits oakland and ocean and they are they will be six months next month. So they're coming into their home hormone surge. <sighs> Ocean is the more dominant one, if you know what I mean. I don't know why she's doing the things she's doing. Because it better be a girl like the lady said. <laughs> I said, is that common? Because I think you might need to come over here and take a look. <laughs> Because I don't want no babies. Because I promise you, she'll get the babies and the mama and the daddies. <laughs> I told you, you'll get all of them back. Because they are so messy. Good gracious. But I am trying to get them out of my house um, by the end of the summer. Because they, it's too much having them inside. Because they are heck of messy. Heck of messy. Um, I can deal with a mess outside, but I can't deal with a mess inside. And my allergies are just telling me that, yeah, your girl is, it, this ain't, it's not, it's not looking good for the home team. Okay. So yeah, chickens are messy. I don't care. You can just go in and clean up everything and you turn around and you got two, three more plops laying down in the sand on your dirt. And you be like, dang, I just cleaned that area. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> and uh, Brady says, I have an egg apron that I made. Oh, you do? Oh, you got to send a picture. Put it in a group because I, I would love to see it. It'll be the first time I ever sent out a quilt to be quilted. This one will be worth it as it's going to be my baby. Oh, I saw. Wait a minute. I saw. What she did for Donna, and she will do a fantastic job. Oh, thank you, Dave. That's awesome. Enjoy your process of making the lion quilt. Yes. And chicken dig holds a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have bricks with their water feeder on it. And honey, them suckers, they love to dig a hole right next to the water feeder. I don't know why, because the cement right down up under there. <laughs> So they dig a hole, and I guess so they can just not have to stand 
and drink water, they get to lay and just put their beak over in there. Lay and put their beak over in there. They do the exact same thing under the um, feeding, um, under the coop. So what I'm thinking, my husband, he even mentioned that maybe we need to move the feeders up some because right now we have it like at the, like this is the chicken coop right here. We have it right here so they can, you know, they're down here on the ground. You know, we have it look like where they can just like stick their head at, but I think they like to reach into stuff. So I don't know what, what we're going to do with them. They're just funny. Danielle says, oh, Sassy, I trust you. Oh, thank you. Got to load a uh, hundred by hundred quilt now. I'll keep listening though. Thank you so much. And oh, girl, that's a big quilt. <laughs> that's a huge quilt. A king size, ain't it? Good gracious. That's a big quilt. But yep, we we are done. We are done. We are done. We are done. Yes. So we talked about Lincoln. We we completed row G. We'll be working on row H. I will be on live with Donnell tomorrow. You guys got to meet the new Shalom. Um, my TL15. Everything is working great. Yes, the, I will figure out a way of learning how to sew hopefully with my shoe on because honey this taking the shoe on and off is a pain in a keister and um yeah <laughs> we gotta do we gotta do something about that so a project coming up a short project coming up is the egg apron we'll be working on it if you don't know if you don't know i have a facebook group page called sassy's quilting tribe um I need, you know, if you would like, please go over there and join it. Um, okay. There are things that I need to put inside of the description box. One is my, um, the link to the Facebook group and also to my homestead page because that has been requested. Now, I'm not sure what's going on because since a couple weeks ago when I couldn't just automatically go live, my stuff is not saving the way it used to save for Streamlabs. I don't know what's going on. So that means I'm having to go and key it in all the time. So now I'm having to do it on the back end because I don't realize it until after the live most times. So I will go ahead and do that. On tonight, we have Becca at 8 o'clock, and we have Donna um, at Hame Bai Ying at 9.30. I think, I think, I think, I think. Oh, and Dave put it in a chat. Thank you, Dave. It is at 9.30 tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So please, guys, go and check them out. Um, and that's all I have for today. I enjoyed you guys on today. Thank you so much for coming and watching me complete Row G of the legit lion i hope you guys enjoyed today's chit chat i did i really did and it, it really has done my heart some good to come and sit and chat with you guys so let's come back on tomorrow if you're available over at donnell stitchery and we will continue with lincoln okay you guys have an amazing weekend be safe out there be blessed okay bye-bye